mannequin head thingy. I wish it was black. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the mannequin's head. You're going to need scissors, of course, to cut your weave. It says to fit customized weaving cap. I got this from Sally's as well for $2.99. And what it looks like is it's a net. Um, and it also has an adjustable band in the back. There's two bands in the back, so it's an adjustable cap. Wig pins, wig T pins, um, and then what you're gonna sew with, I just got needle and thread. And this is saran wrap from um, from Walmart. And this is what we're going to use to put around the wig, um, the wig head, so we can try to make the head bigger. So we're gonna be using that. But I'm still gonna show you guys um, how to wrap this. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of saran wrap. So basically what you're gonna do is you're just going to wrap your wig head with this saran wrap because this is gonna make it bigger. So that makes it bigger. And I don't think that you need to, I don't think that you need to make it go all over the head. I think this perimeter part is most important. So now we're going to put the wig cap down, making sure that the adjustable bands are going to be in the back. And it does fit a little bit better. Alright, so now we're going to take our T, um, wig T-pins and we're going to secure this wig down because we don't want this to be moving while we're trying to sew it um, down. So I just place one in the middle and I'm just going to keep going around the perimeter and securing it down. So just make sure it's very secure because like I said, you don't want this to be moving around while you're trying to sew. So now it's time to sew. Now I am figuring out where the lace is going to be and then we're going to pin it down. Pin the lace down so we can start sewing this one. So, this lace, this closure is very secure right now. So it's very secure where I need it to be secured and now we're going to start sewing. So I just did a bun in her, in this closure right here so it'll be out the way when I start sewing. So we just tied a knot, can you see the knot? And now we're just going to cut the excess, cut the excess off. So we have our knot and we have the needle part. We're going to be using the, the net. This net right here is what's going to help us do our sewing. So we're going to, I'm going to go through the wig, I mean the closure first, and then I'm going to go through So these do not have to be small stitches. They can be spread apart as long as it's you know, secure down. So I go through the closure, go through a few. So we have our hair ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just place it where I want it to be placed, which I want it to be about here. And I'm going to pin this down. And we're going to wrap this around. And then I'm going to cut the stitching. You can see the little bumps that are sticking up on each one. 
that's the stitching that we're doing. So what you have to do is you're going through the net and then you're going to fish underneath of the weft and when you pull through it's going to create just that little that little piece of stitching right there. There's the first row, second row, but when you put it down, you can't hardly see because it's a nice width apart. And each layer that we start placing is just going to make it thicker, so you're not going to be able to see any of this lace that's really right there. So what we're doing here is... We're going through one piece of the net and we're underneath of the net and then we're going to pop back through the net right here. But you're also going to go underneath of the weft and when you pull it through, you will notice that it has captured and looped around the weft. So let's do that again through the net and we're outside of the net and then we're going to fish underneath of the weft pull and then right behind us there's this little loopy loop that just captured the weft so that's what we're doing and they don't even have to be spaced you know closely together because it definitely is you know holding down the hair and it's not going to go anywhere is we're going underneath and then we're poking out but then we're going under, after we're under there, we go through the weft. And when you pull it through, we're pulling it through and it catches it. Okay, you guys, so I'm halfway there and I'm on a new bundle. So I to come and touch base with you. So I'm still, everything's still pretty much repetitive right now, um, but I did want to show you where I started my second bundle, and I don't think I'm going to come back on camera until I get to the top um, of here where the um, closure is, because that's the only thing that would be a little teeny bit different than this, this repetitive process. Um, but so far, we have one two three four we have four layers of hair right now and it's pretty thick right now this is four layers four layers in one bundle so we're gonna do four more hopefully and we'll be done so I'm on my last little um, spot um, of this wig and then we're gonna pull down the um the closure i kind of kind of ran out of hair so there is some netting showing right here but lesson learned to you know when you do one of these wigs um to not to space the the tracks further apart at the bottom because the bottom is covered as you can see you can't even see the bottom so next time i will space it out more at the bottom and make sure that there's plenty of hair at the top um, but this closure is so thick, I know it's not even going to be a problem at all. Um, it'll definitely cover up the netting. So, so I'm taking this last pin out. And again, every time I get to the very ends of the track, um, 
I start going through the wefts of the the hair. So we're gonna pull the closure down. So here's the closure. Oh, let me take this off. And as you can see, it more than covers up that space that um, was showing just a minute ago. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wash um, my conditioner out of my hair and like, you know, just do some little twists, some mini twists maybe, just to protect my hair because that's the point of, you know, protective styling is to protect your hair. So I'm going to make sure my hair is good and then I'll come back and show you guys um, what it looks like on and we're going to do a twist out on this, but that'll be a different tutorial. All right, girls, I'll see you.